Facebook, what's poppin', y'all? Check it. I just wanted to put my take on um, holding yourself accountable and finding that motivation to continue on your grind, your purpose, when it seems like it ain't going nowhere, right? And especially for the guys, the men out here who didn't really grow up around a lot of men, I didn't. I had, of course, school, jobs, had men like that. But my father, the way me and my father bonded was through video games, right? We didn't really, we, we never really went outside. I, I remember probably going outside to like throw a football around with him maybe once or twice in my entire life. He left when I was 13, 14. You know, my mom and dad split up and stuff. And uh, my grandfather died when I was about uh, 18, you know, and um, he was... We strung out on drugs, you know, when um we went to his house after he was dead, you know, uh, we went to go to salvage a couple things in his apartment and found some cocaine sitting on his uh, shelf, you know, he wasn't supposed to be doing that. You know, he was a veteran in the Vietnam War and that really, that's, that's all I pretty much got to say. If you don't know much about Vietnam War veterans, then you should, you should ask around about that, right? That stuff is real. But anyways, I just didn't really have that many men around me in my life. Now, as a man, we are, I suggest you guys, and I'm drawing this from The Way of Men by Jack Donovan. I'm only a couple pages into it, but I'm already resonating exactly what's happening with it. So what it is, is as men, in before the modernization, and even still to this day, because society evolves and changes at a much more rapid rate than biological, than, than biologically. Right. So that means that the same mechan mechanisms that we had when we were in the caves and we were fighting in the tri in the, the forest and the trees and shit like that is still with us. Just a little bit altered, a little bit changed. And, and it's been just been complicated and muddled with all of these, you know, television, with religion, with with all this liberalism, with politics and shit like that. We've, our society has become more complex, but our inner workings are still the same. We still need tribe as men. We we thrive amongst other men that having another man other men that you can count on and who you really trust and who have not only the best interests of here's the thing you got to have men around you who are also on their purpose like ams says i completely agree with that shit they got to be on their purpose and i wholeheartedly believe you need to have some men that you look up to so that you can judge yourself on how you're doing compared to them right that is a that is a way that's that's what motivates me in the morning now you know it's not about the women it's not even just about me getting the shit that i want for myself but I'm a very competitive person. I played football. I love playing basketball. I love video games and shit like that for the competitive aspect. I'm a competitive person. But I want to compete against men that are going somewhere, right? Men that I look up to. What do I look up to? I look up to entrepreneurship, you know? What, how long have you been out of a job, right? Out of a job, but you're still maintaining shit. You got a barber in business. You sell jewelry on the side. You do real estate and some shit. You get a 1099. You don't get a W-2. You get a 1099, right? Those are the type of men I love to look up to and I want to compete against in a healthy way. We all boost each other up, man. This world is huge. We're as connected as ever and disconnected as ever as well. Connected, yet we're disconnected. Tribes. We still need to have tribes. People think that tribalism and shit, that shit's old and that shit's dead and stuff. But I want to tell you African-Americans out here, look at what the Africans do. Look at what the Hispanics do. They group together and they help each other out. Yet you and I, as African-Americans, a lot of times we just want to go fucking do our own thing. It's everyone for themselves. We want to just, just do some bullshit. But if we do get together, oh, we just smoking together, we drinking together, we fucking chasing ass together, some shit like that. That's not how it should be, man. That shit is digressive, is 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 lower frequency, is fucking 
childish and come on, you be 24, 25, 26, 22. However, man, you in your 20s and you still doing some bullshit like that, man. Come on, bro. That's not what it is. But when you have a tribe around you, a good tribe, and as a man as yourself, you need to vet the other men that you're trying to put into your tribe. You need to create a boundary. You need to have specific criteria for who you allow in your circle and who isn't in your circle. But the people who are outside your circle, you need to judge whether or not those people are good enough to even be rivals to your gang or your tribe or some shit like that. The idea of gangs in America, especially when it comes to black African Americans, is not a bad. It's the idea is in the in the structure of it is a good thing. The way that they move around and they do shit is not good, okay? The idea of having a brotherhood, a friendship of, of you know, I got your back no matter what the fuck. You go down, I'm going down with you. You you got some, somebody's fucking with you, they're fucking with me. That's good. You got people that got your back, you know? You got people that's holding you accountable for some bullshit that you're doing. You need to have people hold you accountable. You need to have men holding you accountable. You need to have men to compare yourself to so that when you get up in the morning, you want to do better than the next man. It's a competition at the end of the damn day, right? It is. It is. And I, I completely agree with that. And that is what's really motivated me now to this day. It's not about getting a nice ass car. It's not about getting the money. It's about making sure my family is good. But it's also about, I want to, shit, I want to do better than than my homies. I, I got people that I look up to. Them niggas is doing good. When I'm in the bed, I, I know for damn sure they ain't sitting in bed. I know for damn sure they ain't sitting in bed. So I'm not going to be in fucking bed. I'm not going to let this motherfucker steal my glory and shit. You know? No. That ain't going to have it go down. That's, that's not how it's going to happen. So I think it's important to have a good tribe. But not only that, you, sh you should have people that like the people you can... Com friendly competitiveness, but also you guys are able to come together when it really matters, right? Come together, share business plans, come come together and um, you know, hold each other accountable for the things that they're doing. You know, I think that's really a way to 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 stay on your purpose, stay on your grind, and to to get some more fuel. That shouldn't that should only be a, a component to what motivates you in the in the day. I'm not saying that should be the only thing. It shouldn't be just other men. It shouldn't be trying to get women it shouldn't just be oh i just want to get that camaro it shouldn't just be i want to get those balenciagas i want to just travel it should be a combination of all of these things and then you're going to have a healthy relationship of of uh you're going to have a healthy foundation for motivation and then you'll be able to consistently stay on your grind and your purpose and see the fruition of whatever it is in your mind happen now I just want to say that, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, man. Um, send me some questions and stuff, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing this stuff, y'all. Appreciate it.